What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. This video is brought to you guys by Vast King, and we're taking a look at the really awesome KingPad K10 10-inch tablet, hence the name K10. Now, this thing is really cool. It features Android 10.0, and of course, it has a full-on display of 1920 by 1200 resolution. You're also taking a look at this really interesting keyboard cover that they have. It protects the tablet itself. It is sold separately, but let me tell you, I think it's worth it because it you're able to type really seamlessly. The keystrokes are really, really nice, and on top of that, you're able to go and have the this be a kind of like a makeshift stand so if you want to watch a movie or something using this thing's dual speakers and awesome display you can go ahead and just set this up on a tablet watch your movie and you're pretty much set to go connect a pair of headphones you're good to go there too because that's bluetooth 5.0 gps and 5g wi-fi and the whole ordeal my favorite thing however is the thing that's powering this you see you get a octa core 1.8 gigahertz processor with three gigabytes of ram making uh, multitasking pretty much seamless you're able to swipe between applications run google maybe watch youtube in a small box form and then maybe do a little gaming all while you know and watching a movie on the side so this thing is more than powerful enough for your day-to-day -day work tasks maybe your uh, kids entertainment purposes for gaming and of course maybe your own movie watching when you feel like doing that so all in all it's really really cool a big thing with tablets though is does it have good battery life well you're pretty much set to go in terms of that as well you get a 6,000 milliamp battery which in my testing we've gotten between 8 9 10 11 hours if you really push it and just doing web browsing you probably maybe even get more but you're pretty much good in terms of that it's also only 550 grams so of course you know you're able to just toss this around and it's very very lightweight so if you want to toss on a backpack or travel with it you're good to go there as well it does use type c for charging which is nice as well we're slowly seeing a world that's slowly shifting all the way to type c pretty important if you want to be future proof and all in all i think it's pretty cool last but not least the only gripe i might have about this thing is of course the camera on the front it's okay the camera on the back is really nice it's 13 megapixels but the five megapixel front camera, you know, in a world where we're doing like business meetings and Zoom calls and COVID and all this nonsense happening at the moment, we really need that really, really pristine front camera for being able to have those high quality Zoom calls. So it's okay. It's good quality. But in low light settings, if your room is a little dark, you know, you do need to turn on a few lights if you want to do a Zoom conversation or something of those sorts. But you know what? Most of us are on laptops these days anyway. So we're pretty much good in terms of that as well. So all in all, I give this thing a nice solid nine out of 10. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If so leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.